Meatloaf is okay. I'm mad okay. at Meatloaf. I'm right. not. You sound excited. I'm sorry. It's I, mid. Uh, it's, mid? Yeah, it's mid, mid yeah. Yes. It's not often that I have the taste for Meatloaf, but I don't know what it was. I think I maybe I just saw an ad on on Twitter or something well, like Nate that. Well, Nate Sudfeld will do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> too harsh? Are we too harsh right now? Sixty three minutes into the show, are we too harsh? We have spent. <laughs> we've spent the. Fr- the first hour being harsh because it. It, was it was justified, minutes, too harsh? man. It was Mike Tannenbaum said <laughs> on Get Up This Morning. It was stunning how bad he was. We we tend to, hold on. I think we are beyond fair to professional athletes. Yeah. I think we're patient. I think we often say, well, maybe he just had a bad night. But there is mounting evidence. <laughs> but it's like and undeniable evidence. Ten minutes ago, we were like, anybody but Sunfeld. Jesus. <laughs> is Meatloaf available? Because I'd sign <laughs> him. <laughs> I just, I feel like, are we being unfair? Do we need to cut any slack in any way at all? And, you know, chalk it up to other Stunningly factors. Bad. Well, let Tannenbaum say what Tannenbaum wants to say, but we're the ones that are responsible for our own words. And I'm just thinking, is, is it at all unfair? With how we're presenting this, it's like, you know, Dormouse or Nate Sudfeld. <laughs> I mean, Dormouse isn't going to throw a pick. So, I I, it, I mean, he was he was stunningly, to me, what, what he was last night was stunningly bland. Like, there was nothing there. There was nothing to, like, okay, didn't, wasn't. Throwing a, f- a a football that I Dude, thought that's a good spiral bland there. Bland is but- meatloaf. Bland is meatloaf. I would have preferred he be bland. Well, sorry, <laughs> I've, I've crossed the line now. Yeah, let's let's not I've insulted meatloaf. Don't merge my world yeah, with yours totally- at this point. <laughs> but it's not like he fumbled every snap or mishandled the handoffs or well. Let's really three. set a high bar for well, our I'm backup just saying, quarterback. But, but we're talking like 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 he was that bad. Like he threw three interceptions and he didn't. Okay, it's because I thought, he missed everybody. <laughs> that might be. <laughs> but I mean, I guess I've seen worse. Is what I'm trying to get at. Like Ty Detmer sure? throwing the seven interceptions in the game or whatever it was. That was worse. I've seen some bad quarterbacking. Last night was just one of these blah games. I don't expect him to be very good, but I also want to give him a little bit of uh, cut him a little bit of slack because look at the other side. Were you terribly impressed? Would did Drew Locke look good? No. Would you rather Drew Locke or Nate Sudfeld? Because do you think the Giants fans are doing the same well, exercise that we're doing today? I mean, maybe. I'd probably rather have Drew Locke. Would you? Yeah. Not by a lot. Sudfeld, was he is he like 30? Yes. Yeah, it's done, he's not, dude. He's done. I'd rather have Drew Lock, man. I'm not disagreeing. I'm okay. just asking the question if we're being a little too harsh. <laughs> I don't think we are. <laughs> like next game is what next Saturday they play uh, mm-hmm. here at Ford Field. Like I want to hold off on my killing Nate Sudfeld until I see that game where you're under ideal conditions. And then if it's if it's as bad as what we saw last night, then it's like okay, sure. I felt like he didn't get any practice reps. Like, I'm like, did they unfreeze this guy and well, throw him in the game? That's the thing we have to we have to take in mind with these guys is that the reps they're going to get are happening in the game because you still have the hierarchy of practices. You're going to give the majority of the work to the number ones, particularly if you're not going to play them in a, in a preseason game. Like that's this is the time for these guys to shine is in the preseason game because you don't have to worry about the starters coming in. Well. Look, um, and then during the season, you're damn sure not going to get any reps in the season. He is most likely going to get an opportunity to prove all the haters wrong, and I hope he does. It'd be in our best interest. If Hopefully, he goes it's out not by default and, because the other guy's out with concussion for a long term. Let's no, hope not. No, but if the other guy is out concu- with a concussion, mm. I hope that Nate Sudfeld takes the field next Saturday with a clipboard behind Ryan dices. Tannehill. Well, that would be cool too, but. Kai Tech just posted on Twitch, Gator. President of the Nate Sudfeld fan club. No, not at all. And <laughs> hey, get off Sudfeld's leg, man. <laughs> and he thinks I like Jack Campbell. I know, right? <laughs> I just. <laughs> I, mean, uh, I get it. You're feeling bad. I feel bad. <laughs> I, 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 honestly, <laughs> man. honestly, I kind of am too. I, I mean, mean I, horrible I've, conditions last night. Working I've with done the all same second thing with team Kendall players. Vildor, and I feel bad about it. I mean. Vildor made some plays last night. I know, but he's still got the face mask play, and always will.